Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and today I'm excited to show you how you can stake your Glimmer on Moonbeam. To get started, head to apps.moonbeam.network slash moonbeam. And you can always click the network buttons here in the upper right hand corner in order to switch to the correct network. Next, we're going to choose the wallet that we'd like to use. I'll choose MetaMask in this case, and make sure that the account that you want to stake with is selected in your wallet. Then scroll down and press Manage Delegations. You're free to stake anything that's in your free balance. If you have pending crowd loan rewards, you are free to claim them and then you can stake them. But it's not possible to stake crowd loan rewards that have not yet been delivered to your free balance. Click on select a collator and the first tab that loads here is the active pool. These are the collators who are actively earning staking rewards. The waiting pool here, the second tab, contains collators who are not currently earning staking rewards, but that could change in the future. If you wanna earn staking rewards right away, you'll wanna choose a collator that's in the active pool. There's a protocol-wide minimum bond amount of 50 Glimmer, but a collator's minimum bond amount could be higher. That's because there are a limited number of delegation slots available for each collator. Once a collator fills up its given delegation slots, then the minimum bond for that collator will increase. How should you choose a collator? You should do your own research and choose one that you trust to be a good steward of the network. If you don't know any collators, you can check out our collators channel in Discord. Alternatively, you can pick any collator from the active pool for which you meet the minimum bond amount. It's important that your collator reliably produces blocks, because if your chosen collator stops producing blocks, you won't earn rewards for the period they're offline. You can always unbond from your collator and switch to a different one, but that takes time and you won't earn rewards during the unbonding period. Next, let's talk about the optimization of staking rewards. Generally speaking, to optimize your rewards, you'll want to choose a collator with a lower total bond amount. It sounds counterintuitive at first, but by choosing a collator with a lower total bond amount, your delegation amount represents a larger percentage of that collator's total amount staked, and thus you'll earn a slightly higher reward. The list is sorted by default from collators with the lowest total amount staked to collators with the highest total amount staked at the bottom. Although delegating to a collator takes effect immediately, you won't earn rewards until two rounds have passed. In Moonbeam, it takes 28 rounds to reduce or revoke a delegation. For demonstration purposes, I'll choose a collator here that has a very low minimum bond amount. So I'll choose this one here that has a minimum bond of just 50 Glimmer. Next, specify the delegation amount. In this case, I'll choose 50 Glimmer. Below, you'll see a slider, and here you can choose the amount of your rewards that you'd like to be auto-compounded. If you choose 0%, this means that all of your rewards will be directed to your free balance, and none will be auto-compounded in staking. If you choose 100%, that means that all of your rewards will be auto-compounded in staking, and none will be sent to your free balance. For this example, we'll choose 100% auto-compounding. When you're ready, click Delegate and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. And our delegation was confirmed. You're free to delegate to multiple collators as long as you meet the minimum delegation amount for each collator. You can also increase or decrease your delegation amount by using the plus and minus buttons here. Let's demonstrate increasing our bond. Here, input the amount that you'd like to increase your bond by. In this case, I'll choose one Glimmer, press Send, and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Our transaction was confirmed, and we're now staking 51 Glimmer. If you hover over this button right here, you'll see a message displaying your chosen auto-compounding percentage. You can change this amount at any time by clicking on it, and then adjusting the slider. So let's say I'd like to change it to 50% auto-compounding. Press Set Auto-Compound, and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Now let's demonstrate decreasing a delegation. Reducing or revoking a delegation is a two-step process involving initiation and execution. You can initiate a request to reduce a delegation by clicking on the minus sign. Enter the amount that you'd like to reduce your delegation by. As an example, let's reduce it by one glimmer. Be careful not to reduce your bond below the collator's minimum bond amount. Press send and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Once the request is in progress, you can't make changes to it but you can cancel it if you'd like with the X button and you can start over. After the waiting period has passed, you can return to apps.moonbeam.network to execute, meaning finalize the request, at which point your unbonded tokens will be returned to your free balance. You can hover over the check mark here to see the round at which the request will be eligible to be executed. You can also view the current round up here at the top 
and if you hover over that, you'll see a reminder of the approximate round length. To revoke your delegation entirely, don't use the minus button. Instead, use the revoke delegation button. Just like reducing a delegation, revoking a delegation is a two-step process, so you'll need to return at a later point to execute this request. There's more information about staking on our doc site, including all of the parameters like round length and exit delay period. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.